Good to see you, everyone. And I do hope you're counting down the days until half term. As I go rushing around from one job to another, I sometimes remember to say to myself and breathe. I know that serving in a school, the pace is relentless and is the cost of doing such an amazing job. And I am witnessing this for myself as I attend head of year and subject department meetings. I am so impressed to see the values of our school being lived and breathed through you. As important as the work and the tasks are, hurry can be an unpleasant thing and can also be very unpleasant for whoever is around it. I am aware that sometimes I rush from one appointment to another, sometimes not really in the present moment, but rather in a moment ahead, anticipating what is coming next, or in the moment behind, ruminating on what has just happened. All this can happen without thought to who I am with in the present moment. Making time to pause and to pay attention to the present moment is so crucial for our emotional and spiritual well-being. And I believe Jesus modelled this for us so many times when in the Gospels we hear how he found a place to be alone to pray. Now, praying may not be your bag, but I think Jesus was on to something. Moments to pause, to breathe in the beauty around us, feeds and refreshes our souls. They are a way of experiencing Jesus's words in John 10, 10. I have come that they may have life and have it in all fullness. Now, let's not pretend it's easy. The work still needs to be done. And to find time for your soul requires discipline and courage. But I always find that when I do this, I am far more productive and effective. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know. Be still. Be. And breathe. God bless you, everyone. Right, I've got a dash for an appointment.